Imagine a world where good is evil and evil is good. Imagine, if you will, that light is darkness and darkness is light. Where up is down and down is up. Where left is right and right is left. Imagine a world where false teachers and false prophets have the ear of millions of people. Well, imagine no further, my friends, and welcome to the Heresy Zone. Welcome, my friends, to another Heresy Zone Wolf Watch episode. And today we're going to be taking a look at our good old friend, Kenneth Copeland, the little god wannabe um yeah so before we begin let's take a look at this clip roll it faith is god's invisible creative force faith is god's invisible creative force faith is the assurance the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for being proof of the things we do not see, the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the physical senses. Do you hear yourself when you talk? When it becomes real fact, then it belongs to you. Come on. It's the title deed. It's mine. All of this entire 11th chapter has to do with this creative force. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In the lives of all the people up to there. Faith. God started it in faith. What the hell did you just say? God started it in faith. And Malachi was ministering in faith when he finished it up. By faith, Abel offered to God, unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By faith, he offered it Yes. He did it by faith. Amen. Well, what does that mean? He had come to that place there where in his inner man that this powerful force was so alive in him mm-hmm. that he gave God the best he had. Yes. Don't get the idea now that, that Cain was in trouble because he didn't have a lamb. No. That's not right. No, that's right. Yes, sir. He maybe could have bought one from Abel, but that wasn't the issue. No, that's right. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Okay, all right. So, as you can see, Uh, Copeland is once again teaching this teaching he has taught all these years that faith is a force. One of the first things he says is he that that uh, God's invisible creative force, force, that's what faith is. God's invisible created force. Okay. He then says. He uses the corrupt uh, amplified Bible to add extra meaning to the word faith. He says this assurance, confirmation, the title deed of things we hope for. Really? Faith is a title deed in things we hope for? I thought we were to have faith in God, like Mark 11 says. Then he says Hebrews chapter 11 has to do with God's creative force. Okay. So it has nothing to do 
with men and women of God having faith or trust in the God of creation. No, no, no. It was, he's saying it's something they used as a force to aim at God to get what they needed to get done. So basically, that would make force higher than God. I mean, faith higher than God. And he says, um, <laughs> this one here, I, you know, you, you got to be a real uh, dunce to believe what he's about to say here. He says, God started creation in faith. God started creation in faith, meaning God needed faith. Now, why is this uh, so messed up? Because only beings, human beings, who are less than God need to have faith in God. Why? Because God is higher than man, right? God is the ultimate, okay? There's no higher than him. He's the one that has the power and capability to answer our prayers and provide our every need, right? So if God needed faith to create this whole thing, then who does he have faith in? It has to be someone higher than him, right? And if that's the, the case, that means that he can no longer be called the most high God or God most high, as the word of God says. See, we'll have a lot of contradictions. And notice, it doesn't say have title deed in God. No, it says have faith, trust in God. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, you trust God to save you. You trust God to provide for you. You trust him to protect you. You trust him to defend you. You know, this whole nonsense about faith being a force, you know, that's going to lead so many people to hell because they're going to have a wrong faith in a wrong God. And we'll end with this. He says Abel had come to the place where he realized his inner man had this powerful force that was so alive in him that he gave God the best he had. He then says Cain's gift wasn't rejected because it was bloodless. No, no, no. It was rejected because Cain didn't give his best. And of course, he says this because they're all about the prosperity gospel. And when their congregants give, they want, they want their congregants to give the best financial gift to that ministry so they, he could maintain his billionaire status. So look, my friends, this is just a small example. Kenneth Copeland has been at this game for years the man is uh, demonized. He, you know, he's unrepentant. He, he knows the truth, but he rejects it, and he openly, he openly teaches demonic doctrine under the guise of Christianity. All right, my friends, thank you for watching this uh, program. Until next time, look up. Our redemption draws near. Maranatha, and God bless. <laughs>